Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this bird's eye skillet meal. This one is the sweet and sour chicken. It says it has, I know it's kind of glary on there, I'm sorry. Uh, white meat chicken and white rice in a sweet and sour sauce with bell peppers, carrots, onions, and diced pineapple. Uh, it looks really, really good. Hopefully the sauce, the sweet and sour sauce delivers. That's that's what's going to make it or break it. Um, this is a frozen dinner, so you don't uh, thaw it out. You literally make it from frozen. It is a 21 ounce, one pound, five ounce, or 595 gram meal. It was, I forgot to pull the price tag on. It was um, at Meyer for $5.39, which isn't bad because I think there's like three servings, two and a half servings in the bag. So uh, I don't think it's bad for a family of two or three people. Um, so one and one third cup, 231 grams. Uh, frozen or one cup cooked is 260 calories. You can eat the whole bag for 650 calories, which is not actually that bad. There's your other ingredients and stuff. Of course, Tammy will have a good picture of that for you at the end. Um, it says hearty complete meals from skillet to table in 15 minutes or less. No artificial flavors or preservatives. And let's see what the directions are. So there's two different ways you can make this. You can do the stovetop, which they're saying is the preferred method, but you know, we don't do stovetops on this channel. We do microwaves, but here's the directions if you want them. We're going to do the microwave and it says do not microwave in bag cook only one bag at a time and my thinking is if they even though it's not the preferred method if they give you microwave oven directions that means they're okay for you to do it in the microwave so we're going to first open the sauce pouch and empty into an eight inch square microwave safe dish and add the frozen meal and cover Add frozen okay microwave and high for five minutes and i'm going to cover just with a paper towel i don't it doesn't say plastic wrap or anything um microwave and high for five minutes stir thoroughly and replace cover and then microwave for an additional four to five minutes i'll probably do five minutes and then four and a half unless it's really really like frozen still then i might go to five but probably four and a half so remove the sauce pouch first then put your stuff on top that's interesting okay I don't know how I'm going to do that if it's frozen. Hopefully it's not completely like frozen over, but we shall see. Got my dish here. It smells, wow, it smells really, really good. Here's a sauce pouch. Oh, no, it's it's kind of clunky, but it's not, it's not frozen. Ooh, they give me a, a tab I can just pull open. That's cool. Makes life a lot easier. It's kind of gelatinous. It's kind of jelly-like. Blah, blah, blah. Now it doesn't say anything about like stirring the vegetables in. It just said pour them. So you know, we'll, we'll see. I have to hold this in one hand while I'm pouring the vegetables with the other hand. So okay, then we're just gonna pour these vegetables out right on top, and I can put this sauce package right in that in the back. Okay, so sauce is in the bottom. Big chunks of uh, looks like. Um, that's pineapple. It did say it had chicken, right? Yeah, that's chicken right there. Here's some pineapple. That was chicken I picked up all ago. <laughs> it's chicken. Uh, peppers, uh, plenty of rice. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm going to get this in the microwave. I'm going to cover up with a paper towel, get it in the microwave, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I did do four and a half minutes, not five, because it didn't need it. It's super, super hot. I'm going to cut up some of these small, this bigger piece of chicken. Um, but it smells really good. It almost smells like a... Like it has some citrus in it, some orange or something like that. Maybe that's what gives it the sweetness. I don't, I don't know. Um, it smells good. Maybe it's just the pineapple that's giving me that kind of little, I know pineapple's not citrus, but maybe that's what I'm smelling and my, my brain is interpreting it as citrus. I don't know. It's, it does kind of have a citrusy smell. I don't know, of course, what it tastes like, but yeah, anyway, pretty good sized pieces of chicken in there. They're, uh, and they're actual pieces of chicken. They're not like a processed, you know, chicken nugget or, patty you can see it's actually flaky um chicken so so yeah i'm going to uh take this over the table i think if you cut that chicken up into smaller bite-sized pieces you'll uh you probably have enough chicken to, for every bite to have a bite of chicken so that's good so i'm gonna take this over the table and let it cool off a little because it's super hot and i'll be back okay i'll let it cool off for just a minute it's uh, it's <laughs> pretty hot i think so i got red and green pepper um, definitely a pineapple, a carrot, chicken, some rice. The only thing I'm missing is maybe a piece of onion. I see some onion in there, but I couldn't get it on my fork and let it stay. I tried to, tried to stab as much as I could. So here we go. Hmm. 
I like the sweetness from that pineapple. It's really nice. It's not like sugary sweet. It's that, it's that kind of um, fruit sweet. It's really nice. I'm gonna try a piece of that onion. Hmm. That has a nice sweet flavor too. So it's not like a, it's not like one of those onions that's really uh, like harsh or um, really strong. It's it's got a sweet, um, almost like the day onion kind of flavor. I like that the rice is cooked really well. If you watch my channel for any length of time, you know I don't love um, raw vegetables. And I really don't love carrots. This carrot is actually good and tender. Just a slight crunch to it, but it's not raw. It hasn't been steamed or anything like that. Also, the good thing about it is there's enough sauce in here to cover up the flavor of the carrot. <laughs> so, so you really don't taste the carrot really strong. I mean, you definitely know it's a carrot, but it's uh, it's not super strong. The only thing that could have added to this, I don't know, it really doesn't necessarily go with this, but I like those water chestnuts. Um, I like those little uh, water crusts, the little flat disc. I can't think what they're called, water somethings. Um, I think the water, I don't know. Anyway, water chestnuts, I think. Anyway, the, the thin ones they put in stir fry, I love those things. So they get, or the little bamboo things, those are really good too. Um, they could have put some of those in here and it would have just added a crunchy texture to it. Cause everything in here is kind of, um, it's not smushy, but it's not crunchy either. The pineapple is about the crunchiest thing in here and it's not really like crunchy crunchy it's like well you know what cooked pineapple tastes uh, has the texture of it's it's like that it's a little it's a little soft but it has some texture to it so texture wise everything in here is really really good like i said i would have loved to have had something a little bit more crunchy but that's fine um the flavors are very you get more of the sweet than the sour i think you get a lot of that uh, pineapple sweetness in here so it's very a uh, fruit sweet and um the peppers and the onion and um, all that stuff kind of add to that um, sweetness. They're, they're not really, you know, peppers are usually, peppers are kind of sweet too, but the, especially bell peppers, but they don't, uh, they're not quite this sweet. These don't really add that, that little zing for the peppers and the onions that sometimes you will get. Again, not heat zing, but just a little like the peppery flavor. And you don't really get that a lot with this meal. I'm actually surprised you don't get the pepper flavor more. I mean, when you eat just peppers, yes, it tastes like a, 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 a it honestly tastes like a stuffed pepper. Um, like if you've ever made stuffed peppers with uh, beef and rice and stuff, that's what it kind of tastes like. But when you eat it with everything else, the sauce just blows out the flavor. I like it. So ultimately, I like the textures a lot. The flavors are good. Um, just know that it's primarily sweet on sweet on sweet. So it's not, there's no spices really going on. There's no real seasonings in here. It's really just that pineapple sweetness. So, so you're not really getting that sauce is good, but it's very, very sweet. And you got the pineapples that adds even more sweetness to it. So yeah, it's just overall just a sweet meal. Um, I don't know what they could have done. Maybe made it a little bit more savory with a more savory sweet and sour sauce or a, uh, I don't know, maybe a little soy sauce in here or something. Something needs to be added for the seasoning to it because it's, like I said, it's very, very sweet. It's almost like I've eaten a, a cup of fruit or something is how sweet it is, even the aftertaste. So I'm still gonna give it a four out of five. I definitely think it's a good meal. It has really good flavors. Textures are spot on. The rice is really cooked nicely too. Um, I think two people could eat this meal if they wanted to, um, especially if you put it over some, um, like those crunchy noodles to add a little texture. That would be really, really good. But um, two people could definitely eat this. Three might be pushing it. Maybe you could get three out of it if you did noodles or some kind of those little crunchy noodles. Uh, they, they sell the little, I don't know what they are, rice noodles or whatever. Um, if you put those underneath of it and scooped a couple spoonfuls of this on top, you could probably get three people out of it. Or if you just don't eat a lot, you could get three. But um, normal people eating it, I think would probably get about two and that's that's it. Um, it's 
maybe too much for one person. Although I think if I really wanted to, I could eat this whole thing. But uh, for a normal size portion, two is probably better. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I do like it. It just needs a little bit more savoriness to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.